And my friends, RSS can die when they pry it out of my dead cold hands. So let's go ahead and add RSS to this blog. There's another integration called RSS that you can add. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Let's see, it also requires that site attribute that we added last time, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead and install it like this. So I'm gonna open up the terminal, close down uh, the running dev server and install this. Let's spin back up npm run dev and get that up and running. I'll close that down then and then come over here. Just to mention briefly, you can actually have multiple different types of endpoints here. So if I were to come in here, you can see that you can have static like JS files or TS files in the pages directory, that then build things like JSON files for you. So for instance, if you wanted to have some kind of client side search, like a real basic search of content on your site, you could do that. Uh, there's uh, libraries out there that you can play around with there. You can also build out uh, like here's a JSON file, here's a PNG file. Uh, let's see, there's other ones, anyhow. Uh, what we're going to do is do the same kind of thing, except we're going to build an XML file. Now it's going to actually walk you through it right here. And I'm just going to copy all of this. And you'll notice that it has to be in your pages directory and it needs to be at the top level. So let's call this rss.xml.js. So the .js is basically going to be removed. And in the end, it'll just be rss.xml. This is how these endpoints are created. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Let's get ourselves a little bit more room. Then I'm going to paste this in here. Now you'll notice what it's doing is importing our site variable from our Astro config, which is one of the ways you can do that. You can see it's actually telling you what it's doing there. And then it's creating items for the RSS feed from that automatically. And then you can add custom data if you want to down here. Now this isn't actually the most customizable way to do it. So I'm gonna come down here and show you another way. So this is the same thing they just showed you. If you wanna have more control over what these items look like, you can do that right here. So I'm gonna actually copy this now and paste this in. You'll notice that it's doing some of the same stuff, like it's still grabbing that site variable from your Astro config, but it's actually using a post import result and doing the glob up here. Now, in our case, what I actually want to do is come into my blog right here, and then this is the current working directory right here. So I'll just start here rather than going up and coming back down. And then here it's grabbing all my posts and it's actually just grabbing the values from that. Now, one thing I meant to mention the last time, draft posts are not added to your sitemap by default. They are, however, added to your RSS feed by default. Now, I think eventually they're going to get around to adding something in here, but we've already written a handy little function that we've gotten way too much use out of. So let's use that again right here. From, we'll go up a level to JS, and then we'll go into our utils. And now that I've got this format blog post, I can just wrap all of this right here. That means the only thing that should be my RSS feed are now posts that are not future and posts that are not drafts. Then all of this works just fine. Maybe we change this to like my Astro blog or something, Astro blog. And I don't remember what we had here, but that's fine. Now there are a couple things we need to change about the way they did this. For instance, we don't have a pub date. We just have a date as part of that front matter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this to date. And then I actually wanna add a couple of other things. So I'll, I wanna add a description here. We'll call this post.frontmatter.description because that's what it's called in our uh, markdown files. And then you may have noticed in the earlier example that you can pass in custom data and you can do that this method as well. So I'll say custom data and here in back ticks, I'm gonna add author like this. This will just be post.frontmatter.author. Now, if I save this and if I've done this correctly, I can come over this way and I can simply go to the route that is rss.xml. If I do that, I get this nasty looking <laughs> RSS feed, but you know, most of the time that's totally fine. If you want people to actually be able to go to this and read it in like a more of a readable way, you can add custom styling. They actually tell you how you can add a style sheet. So to start with, we'll just add it just like this. And let's just add it up top here, that's fine. You may notice that this points to RSS. This is at the root of the directory. So where would we put that? Well, we'd put it in the public folder right here. So I need a folder that says RSS inside of there. And then inside of here, I need this to say styles.xsl. Now, I don't write XSL, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab this pretty feed from here. And let's see, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to paste it over here. If I come back here and I refresh, it doesn't do anything because I haven't saved this. All right, there we go. Now I get this prettified um, looking thing. You may notice that the custom things I passed in, though, are not being added here. So what I need to do is to come back to my styles and actually add them here. Now, this is a little kind of gobbledygook to me but I can see enough what's going on here that we can add stuff pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna add two paragraph tags and this first one will say by, then I'm just gonna copy all this. And you'll notice that this pub date that I was using down here comes from this right here. So I think I can just add custom data right here and description right here. 
So since we're doing by first, let's go ahead and grab the author and we'll say author. And I did that in the wrong place, so this should be author right here. And then let's copy this down. And I don't need a by here, but I can go ahead and add the description here. So now if I save this and come over here, you'll see I have by the author's name and then a quick description. So there you go, and then I've got links to all the posts as well at the final state, which is that uh, Astro blog CIP. Let's hope nobody has used that. Otherwise, well, I don't know where this will take you. All right, so there we go. Uh, the style sheet should be set and ready to go. RSS feed as well. Now, when I come back over here, I don't yet have a way to really access that. Of course, somebody could just crawl the site and figure out where it's at, but why not add a little link so people can access it? And let's do it down here in the footer. So let me open up the footer. And I'm going to do a couple things just for styling purposes. Number one, I'm going to grab all of this and hit Command, Shift, and P. Wrap it with an abbreviation and add a div so that will be inside the footer itself. Then below this small tag, I'm going to add one more. This is going to have a link inside of it. It's going to point to my public directory, essentially, .xml, so the root of my site. And I will just say subscribe to RSS. Now next to this, I'm going to actually have an icon. Now It's been a little while since we've used the icon that we pulled in, that icon library. So it just goes like this. We're going to import the icon from Astro Icon. Down here then, I just want to access the icon itself. So icon will use this component. I'll pass it a name. In this case, I'm going to stick with my Tabler that we've been using so far on the site. We'll use their RSS version. We'll set the width here to 20 and the height to 20. And then I'll close out this tag. Now, if I save this, you see that I've got this nice subscribe RSS feed. If I click it, it takes me right to that RSS feed. So now we're set and ready to go with that. So we've got the copyright, we've got the RSS feed, it's styled as we want. It's pulling in some custom data uh, and it's pulling in our description as well. Now, I should note this RSS is fairly limited right now, at least the last I checked. You couldn't include the entire post content in here yet. Uh, I don't know if they've been working on that. I didn't see anything yet about it, but keep your eyes open. I think this is ripe for them refactoring when they have some time. So I'd pay attention to this. And if you know of an update, please let me know in the description. All right, I will catch you in the next one where we're going to look at some SEO basics for your blog.